The Manasquan Warriors looking to return to the Shore Conference Tournament Boys Lacrosse Finals. The U.S. Army Game of the Week series takes us to Long Branch High School for the first of two semifinal matchups. Top seed Manasquan squaring off with the number four seed CBA. The Warriors topped the Colts 16 to eight on April 21st. Manasquan was looking for their 16th win of the season. In the second quarter, the Warriors' Pat Belstead puts on the brakes. He's able to turn and fire from 11 yards out. Nice goal right there. Manasquan has a 4-1 lead. Give credit to CBA. The Colts controlled the pace of the half and kept it close. Luke Grover scooped up a ground ball and made a great run and this perfect feed to Robert Hermanson. It's the first of two straight goals for CBA. At the half, the Colts down just one. We've got a 4-3 game. In the third quarter, CBA looking to draw even. Hermanson from point blank range. Look at this save by Tom Pollock. It deserves another look. Pollock keeps Manasquan in front by a goal. And there's no question, Pollock is one of the best goalies in the shore. Here, another save with Pollock keeping the Colts from drawing even. It set the stage for Canyon Birch to take control of the game. The sophomore committed to Army has back-to-back -back 60 goal seasons. This goal makes it a 5-3 Manasquan lead. Canyon can score in a variety of ways. Here, he attacks from behind the net, make it three goals for Canyon Birch. It's now 6-3 Squan. And the Canyon Birch show was far from over. This is one of the most lethal shots we've seen all season. That is an incredible shot by Canyon Birch. We slow down an absolute blast. Canyon Birch scored four goals in the span of one minute and 55 seconds. A tight 4-3 game became an 8-3 advantage. Manasquan took a 9-3 lead at the end of three. In the fourth, the Colts try to rally. Nick Kasner feeds Luke Valentino. He scored two goals in the fourth quarter. CBA got within 9-5, but Manasquan had a double dose of Birch. Canyon with five goals. Older brother Jared Birch finished with four goals. The Warriors add two goals in the fourth quarter, and on top of the electric offense, Tom Pollock was a brick wall. 15 saves for Pollock as Manasquan is on their way to the Shore Conference Tournament Finals. 11-5 is your final. CBA put together long possessions and were in a position to threaten the Warriors, but Pollock's third quarter saves led to Canyon Birch's sensational four goals in under two minutes. It will be Manasquan and Rumson Fairhaven in the Shore Conference Championship game. RFH won the Shore Conference last year, but Manasquan avenged that loss in the state playoffs. It should be an awesome game. The Birch brothers combined for nine goals, and we talked to the dynamic duo following the win. Uh, we knew they were going to try and do that and mess with our offensive game style, so we uh, <clears throat> at halftime made some adjustments and uh, just set ourselves up to um, have a more patient offense and just wait for our time, and uh, we knew we'd find some holes in that. I feel like just being brothers, we know we know how each other play, and we want to give each other space and uh, really take it to the net. We, we know when to give it to them and what, what they can do, so we know when to clear out or where to go. I feel like the second year in a row facing Rumson in the short conference finals is pretty cool, and uh, it gives us another shot out of my senior year. It's going to be great. For more Jersey Shore sports, log on to shoresportzone.com.